Two sets of parents are suing the Kettle Moraine School District for allowing students to change their name and pronouns without parental consent. Well, one set of those parents feels that their constitutional rights were violated when the school refused to honor their wishes as parents. The court battle stems from a 2021 incident. A Kettle Moraine middle schooler wanted to transition from female to male and use new pronouns at school, but the parents asked the school not to. Ultimately, the district decided to refer to the child by their chosen pronouns. This case is about who makes decisions for minor children. And for centuries, everyone has understood that the answer is parents. That's why schools send home parental consent forms. Attorney Luke Berg, representing the parents suing the Kettle Moraine School District, argues the school went against the parents' wishes. When we look at the context of school, that parents' rights are not all-encompassing. and Parents don't always have the right to make every decision about every aspect of what happens at school, and that even extends to the issue um, in terms of transgender students. Judge Michael Maxwell calling it a challenging issue for parents and schools. And I agree with you, both of you. There's not a ton out there for the court to work on. This is a relatively new issue that schools are having to navigate. The lawsuit filed alongside the Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty, or Will, argues that calling a child by their preferred pronouns and name is seen as socially transitioning, just one part of the treatment for gender dysphoria. The parents say this is a medical decision for their children. These situations often have to be addressed on a case-by-case -case basis, and so the plaintiff faults us for not having a policy in place, um, but they're nearly impossible situations to legislate with a policy. In Waukesha, Gabriela Garza, WISN 12 News. Judge Maxwell will now weigh both sides and make a final ruling. The decision could come down within six months.